Hey YouTube, Jimmy from J2K. I went ahead and redid my steering wheel cover with a higher quality um, vinyl looking thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the front emblems with these black and white emblems themselves. It's a 5D carbon fiber and a uh, matte white finish. I'm going for more of a panda style so it's mainly uh, black and white and it doesn't make sense to have red stars so I didn't like that how it looked so stuff I'm going to use to clean is instant detailer a clay bar and a clean microfiber so let's go ahead and take off the old one and put in the new one so nothing special at all basically what I'm doing is I'm taking off the old decal that I had and I'm going to go ahead and spray it down with the instant detailer, clay it so that it's perfectly clean, and then we're just going to lay the new emblems on top for both the front and the rear. So when you get to the part where you are overlaying the emblem itself, you want to it's vinyl so you can take it off and put it back on. Just make sure that it's lined up correctly. Once you lined it up, basically what I did was I pushed the two sides together and then you work your way from the middle out. And that will get rid of any bubbles. If you do have any bubbles, you can lift up from a spot that hasn't adhered correctly just yet and basically restart the process. It's very simple and straightforward. So for the front, I tried to peel it off with a blade. That didn't work too well. I'm trying to reuse the vinyl so that way I can put it on like my helmet or something. But it's not like the best. But taking it off, free straightforward. And then we're just going to do the same thing where we clay and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. And then apply the new vinyl on top. And this time you can actually see when I do place the vinyl, I kind of press down on the edge on left and right. And then you can see me work from the middle of the vinyl outwards. And then you can see that any place where it has like a kink or anything, I can lift up from one side and then continue working. Make sure you do clay your emblem because if there's any contaminants, vote. On the emblem itself it's going to show up on the vinyl so that clay is going to be able to remove it and just like that we're all done look at that that looks clean fully black on white you don't really see the um, the red anymore looks pretty clean up front. the rears look pretty good too the decal on the steering wheel also matches the red stripe on top of it. Because we were able to remove everything, I was able to use the front emblem that was still salvageable for the front of the, the thing. It's a little bit too large and it's not perfect, but it's fine. I can always remove it. But the steering wheel will perfectly fit in the rear. So that was like 100% reusable. And then if you haven't done so already, please follow my Instagram right there keep updates with any modifications or anything that's done to the car and as well as as, as I put on that KW sticker right there because they're actually a good company for coils and it's appropriate for the uh, track helmet I guess but yeah if you like the video give the video a thumbs up if you dislike the video give the video a thumbs down leave a comment for criticism and as always, please subscribe. We are trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. If I do hit 10,000 subscribers, I will do a turbo video. Till next time, I'll see you guys. Peace out.